And um, did you see Johnny uh, Depp's penis by any chance? <laughs> I'm just uh, wondering uh, what, what 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 was it shaped like? Did it have a slight I, I bend? Was, to I was it? just I was just wondering. Uh, I'm, I'm just curious. I'm and, just and, curious. And make sure this isn't hearsay, um, but it it was his penis uh sizable by any size? Was he wait, packing wait. heat? Would 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 Mr. Depp be interested? Was in it a quarter chub? Semi <laughs> chub? <laughs> how how hard was he? Welcome to the podcast where we talk about anything and everything that comes out of the crapshoot. I'm your host, JD. This is my co-host. Uh hearsay, Your Honor. James Corden. I call him James. Everyone else calls him <laughs> Jimmy. It just works like that. <laughs> it's weird. Actually a, I have of- a little bit of a I have a little James Corden thing for you, by the way. Yeah, I think I have a little James Corden thing for you too, and it's <laughs> and it's me in a it's me in an animal suit, you know, hip thrusting at you while you're sitting in your car. But um, oh, yeah, well, a lot of things well, have happened. It's me this week. telling you that uh, it's me telling you that uh, you James Corden are actually canceled. You're you're not on TV anymore. Yeah, I heard about that. I heard about that through Charlie, my um. My number one news outlet for whenever I want to hear about how bad Halo is, is how down bad Halo is in a recently. Oh, no. so, who is this Charlie guy? Well, this Charlie man, I think you, I think most people know him by um, Moist Critical on Twitch. Never heard or, of him. Um, Penguin Z Zero on YouTube. I, by the way, that's my favorite thing because I was watching his <laughs> videos, uh, watching yeah. the uh, Act Man stuff where it's like act man is going after this guy who's like falsely suing a bunch of youtubers and stuff because no, I think he should it was, talk Elden that Ring. guy was going after act man first no and well, then, i know but now act man's like returning then, fire is yeah, what i'm Ackman saying is, is going after him again <laughs> just turn around like but call an ambulance <laughs> it's my favorite thing is when it's like youtubers that are like somewhat popular like somewhat where they go like i don't even know who this it's, guy it's is youtubers where it's like if if you watch youtube normally and you ask them oh do you know who this is they're like yeah i've heard of him it, it's just it's great because it was like who, who even is this it's like who who are you this is the first time i've ever heard of you who are you <laughs> wait a minute I've, i i know about who Ackman. are you i've seen, no, I've I seen a couple Ackman. of his videos but i but he's not like someone i regularly watch no, I know about Act Man. I'm talking about Quantum. I've never heard. I've of never this heard guy. of Quantum either. <laughs> and I love how he's like, "Who is this Act Man?" Isn't he referring to? Is, is he? Didn't he review like TVs or something? That's what he does. Is it? I think so. Oh my god, <laughs> he reviews TVs. He's a, he's a TV reviewer. Maybe I know he did a TV review. I just don't know Dude, if it's something he I, normally does. Me and Joe. Uh, when we were recording the podcast once, uh, we were like, he was showing me this TV that he's getting and stuff, and he was pulling it up on YouTube to find a specific review, and he's like, I can't find it. I'm like, yeah, because every thumbnail is the exact same, just they change out the person. For Quantum like, it's TV? Little, <laughs> no, for like TV reviewers in general. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they literally have, like their thumbnails are the same layout. They all use the same PNG. They don't use an actual image of the TV they have. It's a PNG. It's got like a yellow, like a big yellow square with some text in it. Yeah. And then it's like them standing there like, like pointing at adjectives it. like, holy crap, crazy good. Yeah. Then there's Insane. like adjectives around the TV and it's like, it's like best ooh. value. <laughs> yeah. It's like, it's literally the same thumbnail copy and paste that just like kind of moved around. But it's like, it's the same thing. It's like, what is this? Yeah, What's well, don't you know, James, that literally every single TV reviewer like channel is the same person they're all the it's, same people it's all one white guy exactly on the exact same person they're just clones it's all it's all some european guy just doing accents and putting on makeup <laughs> yeah, it's the same guy but he just hires different people on uh, uh what was that web's fiverr they hire Uh-oh. different people on fiverr to narrate his videos and just give him a script and be like can you read this i'll pay you like 25 bucks hi I'm here reviewing this the Asus 90 TV, TV RGB lighting. <laughs> gamer, the gamer TV. gamer TV, as many would call it. <laughs> as many would call it the gamer TV. This TV runs at 380 hertz, which is actually higher than what you can view it with the human eye. But don't tell anyone. The quality that. is 480p. <laughs> we this TV is 16k. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like it gets so good that it just becomes useless also i think i think my, my thing just cut out for a little bit but anyway i heard it i was like "Ooh, spike 
Yeah. You know, just, you know, my, I, my computer just can't handle the, the funniness. Of With it. the funny, man, the funny too much. The funny, the funny. Yeah. But did you hear that James Corden was leaving TV? I did. From yeah. Charlie. <laughs> I heard it from Charlie too. <laughs> yeah. Here, let me tell you about this Charlie guy. He's a YouTuber. <laughs> I, I didn't realize how much he hated James Corden. Like I've I've heard him talk about James Corden like a few times, where he's like, "Oh, oh man, I, I don't like this guy. He's so unfunny and stuff." Him. But, but like, in that video, he was just he was just going off on James Corden. No, understandable. Like there's just something about James Corden that I'm just like I fucking hate has you. James Corden done like terrible things or is he just not funny? I think he's just like an asshole. Like he's just yeah? he's a watered down Ellen. <laughs> with a British accent. A watered down Ellen, huh? Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of... Like current Ellen or Ellen before the whole thing happened? <laughs> well, like, Ellen's, like, passive-aggressive, and she doesn't hide it, but people but people like it. And James Corden, he's just he's just that, but, like, a little less. Like, it's not too... Watered much. down passive-aggressiveness? Yeah, he's not, like, t- bringing a pregnant woman on live TV and then trying to force her to drink alcohol to prove that she's pregnant or not. She yeah. didn't want to say it publicly and everything. And it's then not also doing had that. that woman, that same woman, have like multiple, uh, I guess like a miscarriage or something, right? A miscarriage immediately oh. after an Ellen oh. never saying a word. Oh. <laughs> oh no! It really reminds me of that uh, that bit that like Smosh did, where like um, I think Damien Haas is his name. He walks out. He's wearing like the uh, he's wearing like the blue fish hat which, from <laughs> Nemo that same blue fish and he's just like <laughs> can you give me a coffee yeah, I, real quick thank you so much wait a minute <laughs> come here come here <laughs> why is this not my in my favorite like funky teacup <laughs> it's a really good bit i yeah yeah i mean i, I, I think I, I think the last time i saw james corden was um was i think i watched a review of the new Cinderella movie, the, the most yeah, recent he's Cinderella in movie, he's, and he's, he's in one it. one of the fucking mouses or something. Yeah, he was one of the mouse, the mice. I don't know anybody who's actually watched that movie. Uh, I only know I, the person never, that reviewed that movie, and that's that. I've never heard anything else from it. I've never like in the new Amazon yeah. original Cinderella movie. I don't know if you can tell, I but really, sometimes really your sometimes it. your voice gets like all messed up because of the connection i don't know i could not tell no uh well you'll definitely tell in the episode (laughs) (laughs) but yeah Uh, i think there's a scene where like james corden it's just his head and his body's like a mice or something mouse or something he's just screaming that does not oh he's screaming that doesn't sound fun no he's screaming right it's me james corden (laughs) <laughs> waka waka it's me james corden and i'm here <laughs> driving around with, with my best friend um J- justin bieber <laughs> it's me justin bieber it's me justin bieber hi it's me i justin totally bieber. don't do drugs a bunch <laughs> i don't i don't have a song that's very suggestive called yummy <laughs> remember I when don't. i was in karate kid remember when i was <laughs> 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 I remember for some reason oh, when that movie like came out on DVD and it was like in Redbox or something we had gotten it and mm-hmm. we were watching the special features on like a road trip and I just remember going like why is Justin Bieber here? Yeah, wasn't he in like I think there was, it, it came included with like a music video where he's dancing with them. Um, you're just Jayden dancing on, like the yeah, he's dancing with Jaden Smith in the place where they were training. Because they were like friends or something, but maybe? I don't think they I are anymore. Know. I don't know. Maybe because like they were hanging out together in the video, and I'm like, "What? Well, who are you two doing here?" Well, maybe it's just that thing where it's like business, like partners, where they they're not actually friends outside of the camera, like you and me, James. You know, James. You good. You're right. Uh, maybe it was the internet cut out or something, but anyway. Um, we can move on then to the, uh, the biggest thing on, uh, on the list. Oh, he just sent me that discord crashed for him. Uh, wow. You know, pretty good. Pretty good. But yeah, James Corden's leaving. 
late night host. A bunch of people are happy. I've never actually talked to anyone who thinks James Corden is is like a or James Corden is funny. But there's got to be some people out there, right? Otherwise, he wouldn't be in the show. I think. So yeah, they must be pretty sad. I'm. I don't really care that much. I don't think I've watched anything relating to James Corden. So. Oh well. But I did want to talk about the Johnny Depp Amber Heard trial. I'm was, back. Oh, welcome back, James. My Discord crash. <laughs> Remember earlier when I was like, oh, your voice is all good, all weird and stuff. And then it is? It <laughs> gets all le- leads up to you crashing. Well, the thing is, I changed uh, I changed what I'm on right now and everything. Hmm. So I don't know if that's oh, so, part, but so you're on different kinds of drugs now. Yeah, I know I'm that you were a... addicted to opioids before, but now you're yeah, you know I'm now you're a meth kind called... of guy, right? No, I'm doing speed now. Oh, okay, I'm Some drinking of that powder. five gallons of speed every day. <laughs> that magic powder. We but did you hear a... what I was saying? I was going to transition to the Amber Heard Johnny Depp call it pixie Johnny Depp trial. Nanny gave it to me. <laughs> um... <laughs> Yeah, let's try. Have you, the have you seen trial. the? Uh, have you seen a lot of the the trial so far? Oh, of course. How could it's, I not? It's like it's like it's everywhere. So good. It's so good. <laughs> I've seen I've seen clips on their own, and I've seen XQC react to it. <laughs> I've, I've you know your favorite clips. streamer, your favorite streamer XQC. Man, my favorite streamer shit himself on stream several times. <laughs> You're shitting yourself. Go to the bathroom. <laughs> no, I. No, I'm, I'm gaming. <laughs> no, I get the gamble. I get the I get the illegal league gamble of train wrecks. <laughs> but yeah, so um, uh, so what happened is, if for anyone who's, I guess, never been on social media in the past couple weeks, um, the John yeah, De- Amber Heard trial big is happening. Warp head like us. Yeah, if you're not a, if you're not a gamer like us, um, not, Johnny Depp is Discord suing like us. Is suing Amber Heard for defamation. Oh, wow. Right? That's what the trial is about. Which, you know, mm-hmm. if watching the clips, you tend to forget that that's exactly, that's what the trial is about. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, apparently, it's supposed to be like six weeks long or something. They estimated to be like at least that long. Ah, damn. Because, I, I, you know, because apparently it's just a, uh, it's just a trial where like just everything is being laid out on the table. Right. So, um, Yeah. Uh, basically what the gist was is that I think I like, I wasn't, I'm not too big on like celebrities. I don't really, uh, listen to, uh, or follow any of like celebrity stuff. Right. So, um, the only thing I remember from Johnny Depp and Amber Heard was that uh, a few years ago when, when they got like divorced and they had their first trial in, um, was it the UK? Yeah. Yeah. In British... So, <laughs> they had their trial and thing, and I I knew that um they had their trial because I think Amber Heard said that Johnny Depp abused her, right? Yeah, she was. And then like, she's he's sent, abusing me. He's hurting sent, me. Showed pictures of like of her like uh, her bruises and stuff from Johnny Depp's beatings, um, and mm-hmm. then they went to tra- trial, and then she won. And then, uh, yeah, that's what that's what I knew about it. I, wonder and I thought how after she that won. they just they just pieced out and and didn't do anything else. I wonder if her winning is because of Britain's very very bias towards her over Johnny Depp and the fact that they had many many tabloids immediately writing coverage on how she won before it happened. Hmm. hmm. Well, you know, it's well, you know whether or not whether or not the British justice system works or not is not what we're going to talk about this podcast. <laughs> Because I don't know if you can tell, I'm not British, but James is. He's like about twenty percent British. <laughs> See, look, at <laughs> I'm bringing it back. Oh yeah, real, real good. Callback oh, yeah. episode, man. So apparently, it wasn't just that trial, and then like end, like period, and done. So what happened was, I think Johnny Depp took like a while to scrounge up as much, um, like a case. 
to he was win against Amber and Heard. saving all that he had. He's been he was he was gathering for the day. He was trying to set his record straight, and he was waiting for this day of reckoning. He was a little scrimper in the corner. Like, <laughs> He's waiting for his day of reckoning, up. and it's happening now. <laughs> As pizza crease drips from his face, at like sweat. He said, "He <laughs> said I've done nothing but take shots of vodka for the past thirty days, <laughs> and, and I'm gonna set. I'm not, and I'm gonna set the record straight." And then, Papa and then Amber Heard's the lawyers house. lawyers were like, during cross examination, they were like, "But why not set the record straight now?" And then Johnny Depp laughs. He goes, <laughs> uh, "You'll Papa see. Stay tuned." <laughs> <laughs> the day of I reckoning. Know, I, I really wonder. Who, I really wonder who knows what we're talking about. Come on, it's it's the friggin' it's the Papa John thing. I like I like that they're like okay, Papa John's known racist. If they, if who, they, should we, who should we get to interview him? Can you imagine if the, the people were listening to the podcast and they have no idea? They've no, they've never seen like the Papa John thing, so they don't know what we're talking oh about. My god how could they not have it's you so have to go good. watch the, just type in papa john day of reckoning and then you'll see There's, it you'll i love that he's it. like i love that he's like yeah i've been eating their pizza i'm gonna eat 30 like 40 after you watch that 30 video, days watch the watch the um the video that one guy made or like the joker edit of that same video <laughs> so good and then it'll be even more funny but, but he's yeah, like, so I'm gonna eat 40 pizzas in 30 days, and there's like 40 pizza boxes yeah, so already behind eating, him. That means he's <laughs> eating like a pizza and like a fourth of a pizza every day. A pizza oh and a God. fourth every day for like a month. No, you you know for a fact that man eats at breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Uh, well, you know, he the the amount of oil on his face really shows that you know it's it's bleeding through. <laughs> It's it's so he's soaking, dude. He's he's not he's soaking self. wet with oil. <laughs> His true Reese, self's trying to come out. The lipids on his face. <laughs> the lipids. <laughs> so going back to the trial, um, uh, I think what happened first was that, um, you know, the trial starts and then Johnny gives his. Um, I'm gonna call Johnny Depp Johnny Depp. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna use their abbreviated uh, nicknames because I know people call Amber Heard A H. And yeah, then Johnny Depp, JD. JD. This is the case. But of I'm JD. JD versus uh, Achievement Hunter. Yeah, but it's it's I'm JD, so we're not going to oh, use sorry. JD. This is the case of Jimmy Dango versus Achievement Hunter. <laughs> yeah, I thought AH was Achievement Hunter, but um. <clears throat> anyway, so he starts with his testimony, right? Right. And the testimony is pretty long, actually. Didn't it go like a couple days, a few days? It it was a while. It was a long testimony, and then they had to cross. I guess I don't know how trials work, really. But I know that there's a testimony. I don't think I do either. And then a cross examination happens where, um, so the te- during the testimony, his own team is questioning him. Mm-hmm. Um, and then during cross exam, uh, the 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 enemy team is examining. <laughs> <laughs> the enemy team is examining is asking him questions and questions I, about his testimony. Did I send you the video of Johnny Depp? Uh, like on the stand talking and then it's like it's just quiet for a while and then like as he's talking all of a sudden for no reason amber heard's lawyer gets up and yells uh excuse me judge uh hearsay and just nobody says anything and continues on like normal and he just like kind of looks around awkwardly and then sits down i i don't know if you sent me that but i i think i have seen that oh you sent me a tiktok of someone watching it on their tv and that happens right yeah that's what it was yeah, but I've I've seen that happen. <laughs> What's fun? What's funny it's is that their great. their lawyers. I don't know if I don't know if I'm just not like knowledgeable about it. But it seems to me that they're asking pretty dumb questions, or like it's I just not making a lot of pretty sense. Pretty dumb lawyers. That might be it. Um, but what I what I guess what's happening because he's asking so many of these weird questions, um, trying to like paint him as uh, paint Johnny as like a bad guy, right? Mm-hmm. And it's it's not working <laughs> because nobody thinks yeah. he is. Yeah, and then like, <laughs> I think the reason why they're asking these qu- weird questions that are like coming up, like um during when when uh, they're asking like some witnesses, and I think he the uh, Amber Heard's lawyers, he's asking like um 
he was trying to pee, he was trying to piss in the foyer, right? He had his penis right, out, right? Right. It seem like he's just like <laughs> reckless and belligerent and everything. Yeah, it's like, and it's like, he had his penis no. out, right? And then the witness is like, "No, I don't. I don't remember that." And the reason I think they were asking those questions to try to get like a gotcha moment is because Amber Heard probably told her lawyers that, right? Right. And but Absolutely. she was but she was lying. Lying. So it's not true. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a little less. So, so I feel bad for her lawyers because their lawyers are operating no. under the assumption that that happened, her- and then everyone else is just like, no, that that didn't happen. Man, I really can't wait for a lawyer just to be fucked on any other case because this is going to be his reputation, just mm-hmm. being this fucking idiot. Yeah, that's hearsay. literally hearsay, your like honor. millions of views of him being like, hearsay, 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 objection, and then like nothing hearsay. happens and he sits back down. <laughs> it's great. So good. It's so the funny. The judge doesn't even acknowledge it. The just doesn't even like dismiss or anything. Just like, that never happened. Yeah. <laughs> literally and then like like even he, he objected and then like and then like the, the like johnny depp's lawyers just kept asking another que- just asked another question yeah, and the judge said on. nothing and i then, love it <laughs> and then they just didn't they just didn't even <laughs> they didn't even pay him any attention and he didn't even continue it either he wasn't trying to like uh, excuse me i said something he just he just looked around a little bit and then he's like okay he, he, he sat was back too down. embarrassed he yeah, sat I, down because yeah, it would be it'd be, it'd be, it'd be twice as embarrassing if he tried to like <laughs> voice his, his thing. He's like, I said objection, and then it gets ignored again. <laughs> I, I I think so. I've got a thing about what happened, something that happened with Amber Heard and her lawyer, yeah. like in one moment. But I still think my favorite thing is the fact that Johnny Depp just spent his time like drawing, <laughs> that he just sat there, just doodled. <laughs> for a while <laughs> yeah. i want to be honest from the video like when i full screen it i think it looks pretty good like yeah, it doesn't look too bad yeah, i can't see too much detail but that doesn't look too bad i'm not an artist so i don't i don't know but yeah i'm also not an artist but i like to say i am and i mean yeah. you could draw better than me i mean I you drew, draw you drew us here i drew i <laughs> look at that hey yeah. hey look, hey hey look at us look at us who would have thought not me. <laughs> <laughs> me. Um, but there was a moment in the trial where Amber Heard's lawyer was like questioning somebody. I don't yeah. know who it was on stand. I think it was might have been their therapist person that they had, or not therapist, but like doctor person. I don't know who they were. It was this like lady that's up there and everything. Yeah. And I think like uh, she was like, "Can I elaborate on this?" And Amber Heard's lawyer was like, "No." And then like a guy. Oh yeah, it was the, like, uh, it was the psych- it was a forensic psychologist. Dr. Uh, Shannon, I think her name was. But yeah, that through that entire cross-examination with Dr. Shannon, <laughs> yikes. Dude, somebody somebody was like, yeah, was so big she should have let her explain because this would have helped Amber's case. But because her lawyer said, no, you cannot explain. Yeah. It, it, it like broke the entire case. For that. It was like, that was oh, like a double fucked. whammy because not only does, <laughs> does she look like an asshole for saying no. But it also made it also would have helped Amber if he, she did explain it. So, <laughs> exactly <laughs> double whammy right there. Like not only do you look incompetent by telling a witness not to elaborate on something, but you fuck yourself. I don't know if anyone else thinks that the uh, the questions that Amber Heard's lawyers ask are like so very clearly trying to like drive them in a certain direction. <laughs> and it's not I mean, just it's- what they're asking; it's it's how they're asking it too. Like that lady. The, uh, the old lady on Amber Heard's side, that old lady lawyer. Yeah, like, Naruto's voice actor. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's the actual person who's Naruto's whoa, whoa, voice actor. It just happens. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't insult Naruto's voice actor now, okay? <laughs> <laughs> but she's like, she's like, well, you would say that, you would say that if you weren't on Johnny Depp's side, you wouldn't be testifying here at this trial? It's such like uh-huh. a weird question too, where it's like, yeah, I guess. <laughs> I I suppose, yeah. Maybe if I wasn't involved with them, then I wouldn't be testifying. Are you, ask, if you're are asking, you asking that? me that if I wasn't involved, would I be here? No. no, 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 no. If 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 you were if you were um, let's say uh, on Amber Heard's side, you and against Johnny Depp, you wouldn't be testifying here, would you? Uh, maybe. Uh, no. I, how do uh, I answer this? I know that um, there's a jury in trials, and and um, but I'm not sure exactly what this one has they a do. jury as well. Yeah. Um. And is the jury just like? Are they the ones that actually determine who wins? 
or yeah the the judge is just there to help mediate but it's up to the jury to like be unbiased in choosing but i i don't know how you can be un like unbiased it's in this really case tough where it's to be unbiased. very obvious I'm not who's the lie. good person and on the right side like i i would probably be a good fit for that jury since i didn't know anything about it <laughs> dude i think my favorite thing to come out of this is the audio clip of amber heard like having like a breakdown or something and then johnny dip just going aquaman <laughs> <laughs> I don't know well, I mean, I'm going to play it, devil's advocate hilarious. here, James, because I'm actually on Amber Heard's side. I don't know if I've told you that, but... Yeah, I know you're a big uh, Amber Head. I know you got, I'm, like, I'm, a... Uh, I'm an... <laughs> you've, you've bought all the variants of her uh, Mera Aquaf Aquaman figure? You know, I might be an Amber Stein, but, you know... <laughs> <laughs> I'm an Amber Stan. So what? It makes sense. <laughs> it's, it's like what do you make a play on it's like <laughs> it's like i you, you don't know why i made that word but you understand what that word means and that's all that really matters james <laughs> yeah it, it doesn't have to make sense see, you just see, understand james, johnny depp he's actually a, a, a um a super ma a mega manipulator do you understand what i'm Su saying james you would one call i mean him like it's, it doesn't make any sense to me it doesn't make any sense to me james he says he's he says in all of his texts that he cut his finger off that and he cut his finger off isn't that what just means james uh-huh why would why would him in private texts not just say that amber heard cut his finger off hmm why he says i cut my finger off and you know what that means, James? That means that Johnny Depp cut his finger off. And Amber Heard is completely And as we innocent. all know, folks, the spouse of a the abused spouse of somebody else will absolutely tell the full truth even in private well, text. Well, that's messages. the thing, James. Johnny Depp wasn't <laughs> abused. He was the perpetrator. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Do you see where I'm getting at, James? What I'm trying to I say just, is that Johnny that Depp excellent. really did try to piss in that foyer. And yes, his penis was out. But but Amber Heard saw quick it. question. Yeah. What what would, what did it look like? Well, I, I, I think it would look curious. something similar to the penis that he drew on a painting during their scuffle <laughs> in the Australian house, which by the way was never shown. <laughs> don't don't you mean the mashed potatoes he smeared on the wall to write horrible messages to her? Yes, in? didn't you see didn't you hear that he went absolutely <laughs> insane and he dipped his finger in like paint or he something was, and he was writing on the mirror, the walls, the lampshade, <laughs> <laughs> pissing in the foyer. I mean like dude Mad I mean, man. it's it's all there. I don't see how you can. I don't see how you can think that Johnny Depp is 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 any any sort of innocent in this. Also, I love that the celebrities that came to Amber Heard's defense. It's like, oh, you mean two horrible people? Oh, Elon <laughs> Musk and James Franco. Elon Bad Musk, people. James Franco and um, Seth Rogen. <laughs> No. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, Seth! I didn't know you were in it's the like call. Whatever, whatever the whatever the like the room is laughing at Johnny Depp's jokes. You could hear just the <laughs> in the back in the back there. It's like Seth Rogen sitting there in the. In, so wait, so the jury is not shown in the in the videos right no i think that's to help like protect their identities so who, or something who's everyone think, sitting in the the back there in the on, on all the benches that's the uh that's the audience essentially <laughs> to put it in the is best. it like just random people or it it's it's what, reporters. Like anyone can just go there <clears throat> it's reporters other members of the uh the legal team and everything who are not like on the like specifics they don't have to like be up there but they're there to help like give other information uh, it's just other people waiting to do trial that day and everything. Uh, the oh, jury okay. is most likely behind where the camera is placed. Yeah, isn't it to like the? Um, it's it's like to it's, the right of the stand, right? Right. It and it's never shown law, with the right of the stand. Law and it's order. The left of the stand. Law and order makes it seem like it's just only ever on the left side, <laughs> but that's because they only use the one courtroom. Yeah. <laughs> that's the uh, courtroom. So the yeah, jury is the jury just a bunch of people who are do they do it's random it's people? Ran, it's randomly selected peers, and then they are allowed to like be, normal people. Yeah, and then it's uh, if the legal teams of each side, the lawyers, 
do not like uh, a certain juror or think they might have a certain bias or something, they're allowed to remove them for legitimate reasons and stuff. They can have them like switched out with new jurors who are on standby. Okay, I see. And then they, I think they're like not allowed are, to. Do they select people who don't know anything about the trial? That's. I think that's the best case scenario. Is that they're like you. You can know who these celebrities are, but we don't want you to know what the drama is. We want you like. Ah, so like, as like how I was. Yeah, like basically. I was. Yeah. I. <laughs> but I mean, I you know I it's it now comes to like the front of my memory whenever when when Aquaman first came out and we watched it. Aquaman. And I was like, yeah, yeah, it was, it's, you know, it's like I think it's like the best DC movie so far. And you were like, you know, I I really liked it too. It's just Amber Heard's in it, and I was just like, oh, I don't, I don't <laughs> yeah, know who that is. You, you were like, you're like, who? Who? <laughs> you know, Aquaman. You know, Amber Heard. Mara. <laughs> Mara. And even when you said that, I was still like, hmm, Mara, <laughs> Mara. Who's who's? <laughs> oh, the redhead. <laughs> what about her? What are you gonna do? <laughs> what could she have done? My block off. <laughs> yeah, that's some that's some pretty funny witnesses up there too. I think it, the uh, I, the psychologist <laughs> was the psychologist was like not having any of Amber's lawyer's shit during the cross. Oh, exam. absolutely, I love it. He was, he was just completely like destroying every single question that um uh that I'm just gonna call her Karen, the Amber Heard lawyer, <laughs> the old lady. She was just destroying actress. every single question that Karen told her asked her. Is it? Is it? I, think I it's like a tactic, right? To get questions wrong on purpose to try to like, um, pa- like pass up the chair or something, break their ankles, break yeah, their witnesses' it, ankles. It it really is like uh you know get information wrong and then like correct yourself, being like oh I got it wrong. I'm sorry, did you just answer falsely to that question and everything? And it's like Even yeah, it's kind kinda. of like a uh, low blow. <laughs> yeah, it, it is. The oh, cheapest I'm of actually shots. I was lying. <laughs> you see, on her. With my simple ruse. You see, Honor, with my strategy, I managed to um, game this witness. <laughs> Your Honor, I am a gamer. I'm about to pull what's called a pro gamer move. <laughs> so, like, I Your think Honor. <laughs> like half of the questions that, that Karen asked, the, uh, the psychologist was just like, no, that's not correct. <laughs> and like the psychologist was just like going places too during it. It's so funny. Right. Like the first I, thing that she got, like the first question she asked, I think was she just got wrong, which was the um the how long you've been uh you've been licensed or whatever, right? Or maybe it was the board certified thing, but she was like she was like how long you've been licensed for uh, eight years, right? And she's like, no, <laughs> I've not. Oh yeah, and then they talked about muffins. I almost forgot about that. I want to talk about that. What? You didn't hear I, that? I was gonna I was gonna quickly bring up like that there was like the one witness who was like just driving his car around. Yeah, that that was the witness you, after the psychologist. she he was one of the ones after the psychologist. You were telling me about that. I had no clue about like the that muffins? happening. No, 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 the the car thing. Oh but he yeah. was just like he was, he was actually was, like, vaping over... too. He was vaping and driving around. <laughs> 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 on video on like <laughs> the video. <laughs> that 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 reminds me of like the online courtroom stuff where it's like they're yeah. doing it over Zoom and it's like the the uh guy who is like uh on trial and everything, he comes in and his like screen name is Buttfucker three thousand. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> and the judge is like, You're gonna get the fuck out of here right now, or I swear to god, I will have you like, I will have you removed from this contempt. online courtroom right now. <laughs> He's like, I will have you held in contempt for that name. And the guy's like, I don't know how it got like that. It's like, you know damn well how it did. I don't know how it got like that. I, only, I, don't know I, I didn't put mean. in the numbers when I didn't put the numbers in there. I swear. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so, um, yeah, you don't know about, the about muffins? these muffins. No, let's hear about these muffins. Oh my God. So have you ever heard of the muffin man, James? Oh my god! <laughs> but so so what happened was, I think they were questioning. They were they were in the they were in the middle of a topic about talking about um, the psychologist meeting Amber Heard and like doing tests on her. Right. And then all of a sudden they were talking about that. And then all of a sudden the the uh, Karen she was like she was like, so uh, you brought in uh, <laughs> your husband. You told your husband uh, that you were meeting with Amber Heard, right? And then she was like, no, I didn't tell him that. It's confidential I've seen information. that part. And then right after, he's like, you brought muffins to for Amber Heard, right? Like, just like completely different question. And then, 
<laughs> and then the psychologist was like, can I clarify what happened that day just so we could stop talking about the muffins? <laughs> That's literally what she said. So basically what happened was, I think she, uh, de she described that day that uh, she was testing Amber Heard or she was meeting Amber Heard in the office that um, she, she was running late because they usually run late whenever like a celebrity or high profile person has to be uh, like scheduled something. Right. So um, since she was running late um, and she usually brings like food for them to eat uh, like at the, uh, at the meeting. So he, she told her husband to go get muffins like for the, uh, for the meeting with Amber Heard and uh, his, and her, I mean, I guess her husband knew that there was like someone famous coming because that's usually what happens when she's late. So she, he bought the muffins, brought it back to their house and then she, and then the psychologist took the muffins and then brought it to Amber Heard. And during the meeting, she said something like, um, we can thank my husband that we're eating these muffins right now or something. Right, and that's why I think the lawyer, that's why the lawyer was trying to, I think the lawyer was trying to get, uh, it was trying to discredit the psychologist by showing that she like released or that she like told confidential information to someone right, else. Like, like trying to discredit her. Like, yeah. Like, Oh, you, you told your husband, even though you weren't supposed to client, right? like a uh, patient confidentiality, something like that. But then the way that she was trying to right. do it, she was trying to do it through the muffins. <laughs> So that's like the which a huge circus thing. Right? Can we please stop talking about the it muffins? It makes sense. It can make sense, but the way they did it is so fucking yeah. dumb. And dog I understand shit. what it's they were just, trying to do. And, right. and and if if that thing actually happened, it would have been a bit smarter. damaging. But with the muffins, like, she was basically just asking asking her like, "Do, do you know the know muffin man? Muffin man? <laughs> the muffin man? The muffin man? The who? The muffin man?" So yeah, that the was... Muffin Man who lives on Drury Lane. <laughs> Drury Lane, the Muffin Man. How are these points connected? Hmm. Hmm. If you turn your attention to Exhibit B here, I'll show you how the Muffin Man actually was the one that cut off Johnny Depp's thumb, and is in fact Johnny Depp himself. It was actually, the Johnny Depp it was is actually... the Muffin Man. Excuse uh, objection. You're saying. Uh, it was actually no, the. <laughs> <laughs> it was actually the tip of his middle finger, not his thumb. Thank you. Actually, Your Honor, it was his dick. <laughs> <laughs> your Honor, do you mind if I just piss in the uh, witness stand real quick? Of course, Mister Depp. Yeah, I think during the uh, so they were questioning the uh, the British guy. You know the British guy? Uh, no. But go on. They were questioning. A British guy, and he was a witness, and I think he was the house manager for um, whenever they would go on, whenever whenever Johnny Depp would go on like overseas trips and had to live in a different house. Right, he would. Like, so he was the house, house manager. Or something. Yeah, he was the house manager of the uh, the of when they were in Australia, like living in the Australia mansion. I know, I know that's not the right term, but God, do I wish it truly was house manager. I, I'm not sure what it is either. I just know that he was he was working as like a house caretaker or something like that. I'd like to speak to your house manager. <laughs> yeah. So his job was just to take care of the house, make sure it's all like not broken. Right. And then like they were just doing like the cross exam with uh, Amber Heard's lawyers. They were doing this. Um, they did that thing again where they're asking like these weird questions. But I think they asked about like a, a painting with a, a dick drawn on it. By De by Johnny Depp, like Johnny Depp supposedly drew a, a penis on a painting, and they were really right, trying to get this know. like they were really trying to get this witness to like say, oh yeah, I think I saw something like that, but the witness was just like, no, there's there was I don't recall anything like that. No, that didn't happen. Anyway, so here's what happened. No, 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 no. Tell, tell us. No, no, no. Tell you can't me. talk. Please, please just answer my question, okay? <laughs> so, yeah, topic, that's, I think topic. that's another thing that that Amber Heard probably just made up, right? Was that he drew a penis on a painting, and also that I, I have no idea why it would be like, like extra like harmful to Johnny Depp if he did draw a penis on a painting during right. his like during his nervous breakdown when he got his finger cut off. <laughs> oh, sorry, when he cut off his finger. Right, and yeah. uh, not his finger; it's a the tip of the thumb. 
tip of his finger, right? Tip of the fit. <laughs> Got to make sure we're correct here on the uh, podcast. Yeah, yeah. Folk arenas. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I think uh, after that was the, uh, the 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 witness that was in the car. And I don't know how they did it, but I think they recorded the questioning separately, like in a different video, and then played the video of the questioning during the court. I think that's what that was, right? That's that's fucking great. So they didn't do that live. <laughs> if they did that, that's great. Oh my god. I don't think they were questioning that guy live. He, he They questioned him like in a different setting. And I have no idea why they didn't, they didn't, didn't like... They didn't catch him at like an opportune time or tell him to be at an opportune time because, because he was, he was in his now, car right? and he's like vaping and he's like driving around. <laughs> we'll try to answer these questions. And like yeah. his question and his answer, like 90% of the time was like, I don't remember that shit was like five years ago. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, uh, yeah, honestly, yeah, I think they were trying to, they were trying to get him to admit that Amber Heard had, um, had like bruises on her or something. Uh, when they were at like a hotel or something or wherever the place was that the dude work worked at. So, yeah. And I'm pretty sure, I don't think I've, I don't think I've heard a witness say that she, they saw bruises on Amber Heard yet anywhere. I think they saw, I think the British guy saw, said he saw marks after they got off the plane, something like that, which, you know, makes Johnny Depp just completely, I mean, he's just, he's just like an abuser. Okay. We all Guilty, know your it. Honor. We all know it. So, I mean, Amber Heard already already won this trial. Like, come on. So I it, this trial is amazing. I, I I'm it's it's a lot more interesting than I thought it would be. I can't wait to see Johnny win. Honestly, because like I don't know if he win. Actually, I'm I, not sure about that. <laughs> I have actually no doubt in my mind that he will lose. <laughs> I am 100% serious when I say that. There's not... I, I'd say there's a decent chance he wins. But there's also a chance that he loses. Because what he's trying to... I think what he's trying to prove... You're saying, you're saying he's you're trying wrong. to prove that the uh, the tabloid or whatever the, the op-ed that um, Amber Heard wrote was a defamation. And if... And so he has to show that not only does she did she lie about everything in the op-ed, but it also uh, damaged him enough, and he has to like prove that that thing damaged him some somehow, right? That's what he's trying to prove, not like right. the whole like character thing. So like, I guess what's what's kind of hard is that she said that he abused her and then that's why the the lawyers are always asking like abuse can be emotional and, and psychological because then they could say and then everyone says yes to that right uh and then they could say you know she wasn't technically lying when she said abuse because johnny Depp did emotionally abuse her so that op-ed was in fact true abuse. and i could i could see that argument working and yeah, and I can see her winning this trial. But I mean, even if she does win the trial, I don't think she wins um, publicly. <laughs> I think she loses her life. Sorry? I think she loses her life. Like her physical life or her, like her metaphorical gotta, life? Like somebody has to do what must be done. Would you agree that the hardest choices require the strongest wills, James. I'm sorry, little one. <laughs> <laughs> what did what it cost? <laughs> nothing. <laughs> <laughs> nothing, for I have nothing. <laughs> no, because it meant nothing to pay it. <laughs> Free of service, ma'am. <laughs> Free of taxation, ma'am. Did you see the recent ones where... um? They were they were questioning like his like, Johnny Depp's accountant, and uh, I think I don't know if you remember this, but I guess Amber Heard promised to uh, pay like seven million or something. Yes, to like charities. Oh when, my God! Can from we the divorce talk about lawsuit, this? and it, uh, it was pretty recent. It was like maybe yesterday or the day before where they did the questioning. It's so for for them, funny. but um, Johnny Depp's accountant. He's like this really old guy, but he's but he's like super serious when he's talking. And he's like, yeah, so we had to pay Amber Heard about $14.4 million 
dollars in like liability fees. And then she'd also demanded that they were free of taxation. Like he just kept going uh, like on Amber Heard's like demands for this money. So like, I think he said something like, um, at first she wanted like $3 million. And then the request went from 3 million to 5 million. And then from 5 million to 7 million. (laughs) And then she wanted all the money to be paid directly to her. And then she wanted all the money to be paid directly to her free of taxation. And then, and he just like kept on, <laughs> kept going with that. It was, it was like crazy how many, um, how many uh, demands she made for that money. And apparently she didn't, uh, well, I mean, can you believe it, James, that she didn't pay um, what she said she would pay to the charities? Yes, I can believe it. Because when it first happened, No, it's, it's was... surprising, James, isn't it? <laughs> No. Would you say that you were surprised when you heard about that news? <laughs> not, not even slightly. <laughs> I, I, because I was like, I, I got that news live when it first happened, like when all really? this first happened and everything. Yeah, it was like immediately after their first trial, she was like, all the money I made, like from doing, like from this trial and everything that he yeah. has to pay me and stuff, I'm giving straight to charity. And she never gave it to charity, but nobody said anything. And it was like, what the fuck well, is I mean, going here's on? Here's the thing, right, James? She's not obligated to give, to donate, right? No now, one is JD, obligated to donate. JD, James. am I saying that there is a video of Amber Heard in a hospital holding a newborn baby, stopping the nurses from taking it from her so they can put it in protective care because there's a certain amount of time that you shouldn't be around a baby after it's born and everything? Yes. I'm, am I saying that James, in that video, is she taking that baby from I those nurses? I think you're just jealous that photo? you're not as gentle as yes. Amber Heard is when she's holding that newborn baby and smiling. That newborn you can baby see the that genuine joy on her face that on her mask covered face that, that she you know that, that, that truly newborn enjoying baby, that, that newborn a new baby that life being be, born that should be putting it be put in that little special care box that they have for them because they shouldn't be around other humans that because care of box that's and airtight and you suck all the oxygen out just to <laughs> <laughs> i mean that's what amber heard would do if they give it to her yeah, okay, it's like, amber, I can, I can, put I the baby in there i could sell this oxygen <laughs> <laughs> so yeah they were questioning that old dude and he's just he just he just made amber amber her look really really bad when she was making look demands. really dumb right now and then they questioned the dudes like at the charities like they're they're like accountants and stuff and they're like yeah she didn't she didn't donate a lot she i think they said that or they asked the question like how much did she donate directly and they said uh three hundred fifty thousand, and then it was also shown that Johnny Depp donated in his name like a hundred thousand to each of the charities, uh, each of the two charities, and then the charity was like, "Yeah, he it's it was in his name, but we credited it to Amber Heard because she asked us to." So, yeah, Jesus, yeah, and then not only that, but but Johnny Depp's account, um, he was trying to tell about that time too. He was like, he was like, um, or Johnny Depp went to his accountant, and then he was like. Can we donate a hundred thousand to each of these charities? And then the accountant was like, "Yeah, sure, we can do that." And so he sent the two payments. And then Amber Heard's team and her got like mad at him, and it like <laughs> they got mad at him for do for sending the money to the charities instead of directly to Amber Heard. So, yeah, he also said that, which made them look so- not as good either. And also, John, I think he said that Johnny Depp paid for uh, just... her legal fees, too. So he paid for their can- counsel. <laughs> yeah. Can, can I just Whoa. say this real quick? This, I don't know how long we've been talking about it. But if, if you've heard all this or if you've, you're just like getting to the podcast and you're like, no, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe they're making it up. Go look at it yourself and then just yeah, come you can back. watch the trial yourself. Yeah, it's go a watch long, the trial it's, yourself. It's long, but here's, but, here's my yeah. thing. Who the fuck is defending this lady? <laughs> like, there, there are diehard fans for everybody or any any like famous person. Really. Hey, buddy, she ain't gonna fuck you. They're gonna defend him no matter the uh, no matter the, the the facts or the evidence or whatever. No, no, Jane, just, I love Jane, Amber Heard is my queen, my Jane, my gamer hit, let's, girl. <laughs> Jenny, let's let's hit I'm him with the, uh, <laughs> oh, shit. Jesus Christ! What are you, Charlie? What are you, Sorry, Eric Bedour <laughs> during the? I, I, Face Jam podcast. I'm sorry. It just it just boiled up when I was trying to say Amber Heard, but 
<laughs> let me let me uh, continue. It's a uh, gamer girl queen Amber Heard. That's what I meant to say before I was interrupted by the, my inner demons coming out. I uh, <laughs> but like let, let's just hit him with the uh, whole like str- like streamer like girl thing where it's like if you support him for some pre- reason, people will be like, she's not gonna fuck you. Let's just hit let's just hit Amber fans with that. She's not gonna fuck you. You're gonna use that argument that um that one dude who uh that one dude who was like roasting Pokimane did and then he got banned. Yeah, the guy who was like being yeah, a fucking like, dude, asshole, yeah. Bro, why are you watching Pokimane? She's not gonna fuck you, bro. <laughs> like and then to that it's like well, nobody's going to fuck you either then if we're using that logic cuz then it doesn't make any sense. Well, that's why you watch women, right, James? So they could fuck you. Yeah. Obviously. I mean, that's what, that's why I do it. I mean, I, me of course. I I may or may not have slayed a couple of pusses in my time, but you know. That's either here nor there. What were their names? Um uh, 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 uh Hamber you look like Erd? J- in like Tron John Tron in that one skit, JD. Hamber Swing. Erd is is one of their names, I remember it clearly. And um <laughs> Hamber Ard. Hamber Ard, yeah. Uh yeah, you know, I, I can't honey, remember I can't remember honey, all of the side pieces that I have, James. I mean Donny Jep. <laughs> Donny Jep, my favorite. <laughs> It, it sounds it sounds like a racist naming of an old character. <laughs> Here's this vaguely Asian man. What should we name him? I don't know. What what Donnie. weird noises can it's we my make? My boy Donnie, you know. It's just Donnie Jep. Yeah, DJ. Feels like some fin fang foom type shit. <laughs> or but, whatever uh, fucking Shang Chi's like original comic book dad's name was. Yeah, and then it, it's it's pretty bad. It, it's 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 pretty it's pretty racist. Oh come on, man! It's, you know, it's just a, it's just a funny jape, you know. It's whatever. What I'm googling it. It's whatever, dude. So yeah, the uh, that accountant that accountant witnesses. Whew, that didn't look very good for. I'm Who man you? <laughs> like the like the the facial hair type. Yeah, that's his name. That's <laughs> Shang Chi's comic book dad's name. Who man you? Yeah. Hell yeah. And then, uh, yeah, and then I think I also saw a clip of, like, it, might, it was a later witness where they were questioning him, and then, uh, like, Amber Heard threw, threw, like, Johnny Depp's, like, belongings out the window or something, and, like, some homeless dude came and picked it up. And oh, then, nice. Uh, and then his, uh, his, like, one of his security dudes had to go out and get it back from the homeless guy. So he found him, and then, and then the homeless guy gave it back, and so he so he rewarded the homeless guy with, like, Four hundred and four hundred and like twenty dollars. Yeah, four hundred and twenty dollars and some fish tacos, and Fiji water. He rewarded. He oh, he got it from TGI Fridays. I don't know. <laughs> oh, poor homeless All I guy. Know is like the, the judge. Like it, it, he didn't need to say it, but like the lawyer, like Johnny Depp's lawyers, when they were just questioning him, they were just like, "So what? What did you do after you found the phone?" He's like, "Well, I gave the guy a uh, four hundred and twenty dollars, some uh, fish tacos, and a Fiji water." And then like <laughs> and then Johnny Depp starts like cracking up because it's like, what the fuck? <laughs> it's so funny. But yeah. I like how they constantly try to get trying to show that Johnny Depp's like this horrible dude. And then whenever they question dudes, or like I think they're trying to they're trying to make a lot of the witnesses seem like um they're paid off by Johnny Depp. But it doesn't come across that way. Right. They're like, they're like, you're, you were paid. Like they were questioning like his friend or something. And they're like, so you're saying that he paid for all of your living expenses and stuff. He's like, yeah, he offered, he offered to like give me or to like help me financially and everything. So I could just do my artist thing and draw stuff. You're a great guy. I'm super grateful to him. And he's like, so you're paid off by Johnny Depp. <laughs> and it's like, that's not what he said at all. And that's definitely not, I don't think that's what the jury is taking away from that either. Is that you know he's paid off? It's more like oh, yeah, Johnny Depp's are, a great that, guy and just gave him a lot of money for free. He him. said that Johnny Depp paid for his living and everything just because he was trying to be nice. Yeah, he's paying him off. Sure, fucking idiots. <laughs> fucking fuck, what fucking idiots, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, and uh, I you know I didn't know about this, but apparently Amber Heard has um, 
he's been diagnosed with borderline personality disorder and like histrionic personality disorder or something whatever yeah. whatever that psychologist said that she Sounds had about right yeah and I, I and it, it fit almost too perfectly for me because this is where i'm on amber Heard's side right it almost fit a bit too perfectly with me james that uh every every single one the symptoms that she listed for the the board the personality disorders kind of fit with what amber heard was doing during the relationship like um uh, oh like you're telling me that all the, all the signs and, of a bad person turned out to be true <laughs> that that she Point showed three. all the signs that Here's she <laughs> that she that amber heard showed the same signs as a person a bad person would show i mean it's it's just too much of a coincidence coincidence don't you think james yeah insane insane <laughs> in the membrane <laughs> yeah i mean it's just it's just a thing also did you notice there's a, like weird conspiracies going on with um well, actually there was one there was like one symptom of the uh the, the personality disorder which i thought was like well like what came up in my head when i heard it was that um the psychologist like um yeah one of the symptoms for it is that they try to imitate the other person a lot uh, like whatever whatever person that they are they're like attracted to in a relationship they try to imitate them a lot like they're trying to become that other person and then in my head i was just thinking about how amber heard's been dressing the same way as johnny Depp in like the trial days <laughs> oh and i was like wait a minute <laughs> hold on a second I, yeah, i'm not you you're me you're me wait a wait. minute <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, that's that's that that was a little that was a little sussy baka to me, James. I don't know. I just think, I just think that everyone's yucking. <laughs> I think I just think that everyone's don't, don't yucking on Amber Heard's yum don't all the you time. Dare finish that sentence. <laughs> I just think that everyone's yucking on Amber Heard's yum, and, and I just think they need to stop. You know, they just need to let bygones be bygones, and you know, just let Johnny Depp just fail because he's he's an abusive guy. Like yeah, man, he's just so horrible. He's just such a bad person. I, I mean, mean, didn't yeah. you didn't you see him take shots of vodka? Like, come on, that's that's <laughs> fucked up. Alcoholism. Did you hear about him trashing hotel rooms? Like, do you think a sane person would do that? Insane, insane exactly. in the membrane. Yeah, and then he took a shit in his own bed. <laughs> Whoa! Tried to blame it on Amber. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Uh, and then he became the muffin man. Like, come on, this is this is like dude, oh, he's on jury lane. Wumbo, like wombology, dude. It's the signs are there, ladies and gentlemen. Poppycock, I say. Poppycock. I'm going to set the record straight. Stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> the day of reckoning. The day of reckoning will come. It, I will, stay tuned. I will drink thirty bottles of vodka. Listen, I've eaten nothing. But pizzas for the past thirty days. I can tell, Papa, you're you're pr you're practically drenching grease. They don't know how to make pizzas better than I do. Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna set the record straight. Stay tuned. Does, does Papa John's have a secret ingredient? Yes, human blood. I was, I was gonna say whatever <laughs> it is coming off his skin. <laughs> it's it's his like bodily fluids that he puts in Papa John's pizzas. <laughs> He, like sweats out grease and they like bottle it up to use to cook it or something it's his it's his, it's his gland juice dude he uses that as his pizza pizza topping you could not have chosen the, the worst <laughs> set of words you know it's just his gland juices you know Stop. it really it really gives it the the papa john's flavors like the it's like that you know it really it just you, adds the flavor it really makes you want to go it makes you want to go <laughs> <laughs> I mean, didn't you see the pictures of Johnny Depp like passed out, dude? Like that's that's fucked up. Like the him passed out, he's holding like the ice cream and it's spilling onto his onto his penis, onto his naked penis. Like, come on. What did it look like? What did it look like? <laughs> I don't know. It was covered in ice cream. I couldn't tell. <laughs> oh man, it's so it's so crazy. It's, it's happening. And fucking what 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 is what is going on in the world? And I like how um, Johnny Depp's lawyers could object to a lot of the things 
that Amber Heard's lawyers are saying, but they just don't because they're just making themselves look bad. So they don't have to do anything. If they don't, it just solves itself. It, it's it almost like it's almost like the truth itself. will come out. The truth will come out eventually. Stay tuned. <laughs> the day of reckoning. <laughs> you know, Jace. It's just Jesus Christ. it's just how nature works. <laughs> nature versus nurture, folks. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, oh. holy crap! And like maybe maybe Amber Heard lied on the test, but I mean, I think I think that they just proctored the test wrong. You know. Like they were they were automatically biased against Amber Heard. You have to go into yeah. this on Amber Heard's side. Like James, mm-hmm. do you want to do you want to not do you want to be like stand against domestic abuse victims? Yes. Like, come on, that's you didn't even let me finish. That's yes. <laughs> Objection, Your Honor. <laughs> Speculation. Objection, Your Honor. Hearsay. <laughs> but yeah, you know, got him. Got at the him. End of the day, this is um. You know, this looks pretty bad because I know a lot of people are like really angry at Amber Heard if the things that she said that she experienced was wrong or not true, which can't possibly be true. But what's wrong, JD? You afraid? You afraid to say that they they might be true? No, I'm you afraid you'll get hit with defamation that you'll get copyright strike by, by Amber Heard. <laughs> <laughs> well, I have to pay fourteen point four million dollars tax free to Amber Heard for defaming her. I mean, yes. Maybe I'll have to take it out of the crapshoots like a credit card. The the, the crapshoots Apex card. Do you mind if that? Do you, can I do that? Uh, you're gonna have to talk to. I know Jack that I own I own yeah, ni- I own ninety percent of this company, but like we was, we left the uh, we left the Amex card with Jackson, so you're gonna have to bring it up with him. He currently oh, okay, has yeah. it. So oh, I thought you know, Tuck, he, I thought I, Tucker had it though. No, I mean it, it, that is the Tucker we're talking about, Jackson Tucker. Oh, but there's like two Tuckers in our company. Right, that's why I was like Jackson, and I was like, he, there was the, there was the Tucker, Tucker with the uh, the long hair. You're talking about the the Tucker with the the mustache. No, well, that is the one with the long, long hair. Sometimes, but the, you're also thinking of the other Jackson. No, he got a, he had a haircut like last week. Did you see him like in the past week? Yeah, you know, he weirdly brought up how much that haircut costed exactly. I don't know why. Yeah, and and I think uh, I, I don't know. Did he didn't he use the Apex card for that? We got pretty angry at him. Yeah, actually, I uh, I think we should I think we should get that card back from him. I want to see what the uh, can you call it the company? I think we should check what charges have been made on it recently. If you enjoy the podcast, wait, no, no, like. no, I got more to talk about. Wait, no, I got more to talk about. What do you have to talk about, James? CW has canceled some TV shows, folks. If you enjoy the podcast, <laughs> they canceled <laughs> that woman. You could talk about canceling Batwoman on your channel whenever you upload in the next no. seven months. But wait, wait, I have something that I need to ask you about. Oh, hold on, let's talk about this first. They canceled Batwoman. Yeah, they canceled Batwoman, Legends of Tomorrow, uh, and I think Flash is on its way to having only one more season left as well. Oh, why? Uh, they're like canceling a bunch of shows because I think they're like not making any profit. <laughs> Why is so that, like, James? <laughs> Are you saying that people don't want to watch terrible shows? Yes. <laughs> that possibly can't be true. That can't be possibly true. Absolutely. Yes, definitely. Um, but yeah, it's uh, suspected that uh, Flash may be getting canceled next and everything. I think Superman and Lois will be fine because that is actually a show that CW has no control over. Oh, is that why, like, I've not heard anything too bad about that? Yeah. I, just, I because, haven't heard anything about that, really. So that's, really a, that's the thing I bring up. Like, whenever I tell people about uh, Superman and Lois, they're like, uh, oh, what, what is it? And I'm like, it's a CW show. And they're like, oh. And I'm like, oh, hold on, hold on. It's not made by CW, though. It, it's just produced. It's, like, distributed oh. by them. Oh. It's it's completely funded and made by Warner Media themselves, which is why it has like only the Superman actor from the CW shows, but nobody else. It's like the Superman and Lois actor are the only people from the CW shows. Oh. There's no crossover. There's no like the worlds don't even like mix at all. So it's like it's yeah. Yeah, I just assume that it. if I don't hear anything about a show, then it's probably good. Yeah, because <laughs> the only thing is I hear about shows are bad things. So. <laughs> Also, uh, the thing about the Halo show with the writers. Uh, I've heard a lot about the Halo show. Turned out to be completely false, I've learned. <laughs> that really? Was How is just, that false? It was a quote taken completely out of context. Yeah. 
like the head producer or like a showrunner for the show had even addressed it when that like first came out that he was like, yeah, no, that's completely false. That's just like a little snippet from our full conversation. Here's what I actually said. And here's what they took from it. And it was like, what did he actually say? It was like something along. I don't know what it fully was and everything because I'm going to have to go back and check. Because that that quote that they took seemed seemed pretty in context to me. (laughs) You'd think for some reason, but yeah. (laughs) You, no, you, I you, believe you, James because I don't you, even really remember what you know, that Jamie, quote was. <laughs> you, know, Jamie, you you think that the quote of "Yeah, we did play the games," <laughs> which is what like I think people like. No, like, I think the quote was more like um, "We don't play the games. We like to we we like to uh, come into the the movie unbiased by any kind of media. So we got to write a show where you don't need to Are, play the you, games." Did you look it up? No, nah, no, nah, I didn't look it up. I have no idea. Okay, I've been I've been trying to like, trip you up. Because I know I'm trying to get you here. I'm trying to get you angry. I'm trying to get you angry about this <laughs> about this topic by constantly de- degrading Halo TV show, even though I truly don't really care that much about it. <laughs> Are you pulling up the actual quote right now? No, I'm trying to find what like he said, where he was like trying to clear, like clean it up. And everything. Well, they must and have removed that because he was lying. But you know, it's whatever. <laughs> they, they, no, I don't. No, I know the article's still up there because it was like the first result. But I'm trying to find what he said because that's the thing that everyone's like just ignoring is like when he addressed it. Huh. Also, Jesus Christ! I think I just got torrented or something. Now, <laughs> the really? website I went to is buggy as fuck. Uh oh! It's virus time. <laughs> it's rewind time. <laughs> <laughs> Um, the most noble, contra- the, the most noble controversy to date follows that Master Chief removed his helmet in the show. Oh, he didn't just remove his helmet. There wasn't his helmet yeah, he like off for suit. most of the most of the show. Uh, he didn't take it off till the end of the first episode. Then he had it on for parts of the second episode. But then, like when he was talking to Soren, when he was trying to like, "Hey, I'm not here to fight you." He's like, "Yeah, fucking right." He took off his helmet. He's like, "If you want to kill me, you could just kill me now, I guess." Like, but I'm not here to fight you because you're my friend and I need you to help me. And then he gets popped in the face. End of end of season one. <laughs> no, <laughs> believe it or not, no. But he okay. So here's the tweet that like helped yeah. clear it up for me. But it's headlines are fun. But here's what I really said: to make the Halo TV series, we started from the game. And then we made a p- pilgrimage to 343 to study the entire canon. So what we could bring you the full Halo experience. He never said that they didn't play the game. He just like completely oh, so, ignored so it. The quote, the, so the quote, we didn't look at the game. We didn't talk about the game. We it's talked about the characters inaccurate. in the world. So I never felt it's limited by it being a game is not the quote that's taken out of context. That is the quote that's taken out of context because that's not what he said. What did he say around this thing? From the game and what did he mean by that? we didn't look at the game, we didn't talk about the game, we talked about the characters in the world, so I never but felt limited by happened. it being a game. Well, what, did, what did he mean by that, that's James? That's not what happened, though. What Variety, made one, Variety made one article where they're like that, and it's like he's like, that's not what I said at all. They took that completely out of what I didn't say. Yeah, and then he, and did then he say like what was around article. that? or? Yeah, he. Lit, I just told you what he explained. He was like, oh, say that we started from the game, and then we made a pilgrimage. So oh, you he, want me to he said time? he said we started from the game, but he also said we didn't look at the game. Yeah, he said, here's what I really said to make the Halo TV series. We started from the game and then we made a pilgrimage to 343 to study the entire canon. So was this entire quote just wrong then? They yes. Just, they just made up this quote? Yes. Okay. So That's it wasn't taken saying, so it wasn't taken out of context. It was just it's just completely wrong. Yeah, they like took the part where he's like, we start from the game and they're like, how can we twist this? And so now everyone's like, they didn't even play the game. And it's like, obviously they did, though. Like, fuck it. Obviously they did. Did they, though? Jeez, JD, I don't know. Don't fuck it. I mean, I don't know if a lot of people would agree with you on I'll that. I'll fight but... you, JD. I'll, oh, you can I'll fight, drive over to you can fight me, but that doesn't make the Halo now. TV show better I'll now, drive does over it, James? To house right it doesn't now. make the TV Halo TV show better now, does it, James, if you fight me? Good, though. I don't Why know does wrong, Google though. have a bunch of six sixes on there? What's going on? What? Uh JD, you know what the you know what six six is by itself, right? No. What is that? Oh wait, no, I think it's eighty eight. Eighty is the Nazi number. That's what I know. Route sixty six. Celebrating route Ra- sixty six. Uh, okay. What is that? It's a road. 
Oh, okay. <laughs> anyway, though, I just uh, have one last thing to talk to you then. Yeah, keep an eye out for if you ever see the number 88. Like, if somebody has a tattoo 88, that's a Nazi. Really? Yeah, that's just straight up a neo-Nazi because that's, okay. uh, li- that's what the lightning thing is. It's just, like, another way of doing it. Oh. He's doing 88. I see. Okay. I'll keep they that have the mind, double actually. lightning bolts. Yeah. So Good thing to mind. look out for if you ever see that. Yeah, so uh, one last thing, James. Um, how are you doing on that PC thing? Anyways, folks, thanks for watching the podcast. You know, If it was really you enjoyed it, all. leave a like, subscribe. We do this every Sunday. And uh, yeah, and you can, you, can get, you can get caught up on it. We've got plenty of episodes. If you enjoyed this one, you can watch the last one. And you can watch the one we did about the, the Jackson Tucker. And also watch the one we did the special. We went to uh, Level Up Expo in uh, February. I love that one. That was a good one. Say goodbye, James. Ring us out. So, anyways, folks, as you can see, it's actually very...